right, so in this video, um, we're gonna look at a really powerful position called the clamp, where it's really easy to set up triangles, homoplatas, and arm blocks. Okay, so the position basically happens whenever you escape side control or someone tries to pass your guard and they walk into your frames. So, if, let's say Felix comes in here and knee cuts. If you saw the frame video, you know that if we keep everything spaced out here, we have a chance to bring our legs in. So from here, what we're looking to do is I want, I'm kind of like in a side guard. I'm getting my elbow and knee connected, framing this arm. My top arm controls his head with a collar tie. And I'm gonna look to get my knee to my chest here and throw my heel over. From this position, it's easy for me to control the arm, bring the leg out, and here I can start to lock up triangles. Okay, now I can go to the hip, turn the corner, and really try to cut Felix's head off here with a strong triangle. This is the same position as when you escape side control. So we were here, we had a frame, we hipped out, got in. Now if he keeps coming forward, we get to this clamp position. So this works really well with the side control escape and with the guard retention. Get to here, get the heel over the shoulder, and now you can pull this bottom leg out and start to attack, okay? So this is the basics of the position. Now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into how to get there and how to finish the triangle, okay? So. I need my partner for this to overextend. So one of the places I like to bait it is from the knee cut, okay? Now, if we don't have the frames down, it's gonna be hard. We're basically just gonna get past. So Felix comes in for knee cut. I block right away here. Cross shoulder frame, a bicep frame. If he can't get my head, can't get an underhook, it's hard for him to do anything. So I let him cut through. As he cuts through, I don't let him stay here, right? I need to get my elbow in by his hip and keep his cave out and bring my bottom knee in. From here, people are gonna be greedy and they're gonna look to get in. As he gets in, I have the arm framed. If I have block here, I'm pulling my top knee in and I, I'm, I wanna collar tie him or even headlock him here. He looks in, here, just headlock him, keep him tight here. This knee saves me from him passing here and this knee here keeps him in tight. From here, I'm gonna look to throw my heel over his shoulder. Now I'm fairly flexible, nothing special, but if you have flexibility issues, let's just move back a little bit here. Um, you wanna think about scooting out to your side, pull your knee up and then throw the heel over, okay? So he comes in here. All right. If you have flexibility issues, still take this collar tie, hip out, and then bring the knee up. If you absolutely can't bring the uh, heel uh, to the shoulder, just get it as high on his back as possible, pinching everything in. Now, as he comes forward, he walks right into my trap here. All right, I'm gonna push this back. So if I feel like this hand is an issue, push back, find this grip where I can push the hand away. If not, I can go clamp the four fingers together, push it away. And now I pull this bottom leg out and lock up the trap triangle. From here, um, if you see my other triangle videos, you know how I like to finish, but otherwise we're just gonna go over it. Just rotate. Okay. Uh, from here, I like to get the trap triangle where my feet are crossed, feet are crossed. I pull everything in, control the collar tie. Now I need an angle. I can go foot on the hip and start to cut an angle, swing this leg out, making sure my legs are connected. Now I think about scissoring in, my quad retracts, my hamstring pushes in. From here in the drill, I should be able to finish, finish Felix just by doing this. Yeah. When we're going live, there's more resistance. So we're gonna scissor in, lock, I'm flexing my feet, pulling my knees to my chest, and poor Felix is getting strangled pretty easy. Right. So um, from a side control escape, it's, same principles, I have the uh, frame by the hip and the head, shrimp out, get everything in. Felix wants to recover the position, I block, 
throw my heel over the shoulder. If you can, again, keep this as high as possible. Pinch your elbow, pinch your knee into your ch chest here and make sure you're on your side. This arm checks this arm here. Pull out, lock, pull in, get the angle and attack. Let's say you get to here and he really tries to turn away. Maybe he, yeah, the other way and he pushes my legs. I can go omoplata, sit up. And from here, if he's bad, I'm gonna finish him uh, with an omoplata, but he's probably gonna roll through. And I can look for top position or to take the back. So, whether it's from side control or from the guard recovery, here, same thing, clear. When he pushes in and overextends, this is where I strike. Get everything in, lift, lock, and attack. So, hopefully this will encourage you to use your frames better when you're playing guard and when you're escaping, because you can actually catch your partner off guard with a very strong uh, triangle attack, and uh, they will actually kind of just walk into it if they try to overextend. So have this in mind and use this for when you, uh, when you play on bottom and people overextend.